that's good. All right, so this is the end of my little pre-workout. More of a snack or two snacks, more so than a meal. I'm doing one sweet potato, about a tablespoon and a half of peanut butter between the three rice cakes. If you notice, I really don't put a lot on there because I just want a little bit for the flavor. The fats and the peanut butter add up pretty quick. And then uh, closer to a tablespoon with the sweet potato. Some salt on both to really help with the uh, pump of the performance. When I get into the gym a little later here. And uh, what else is it? A little bit of carb, of course, with the rice cakes and the sweet potato. And uh, a carb that I can digest pretty well. Doesn't bloat me. Because uh, the last thing I want to do is kind of be nice and distended, you know, going into a, going into a workout with a full stomach. Is... Uh, it's not very fun when you're trying to train hard. Oh yeah, and uh, and a little bit of yogurt. So about half a serving of that Greek yogurt. I like that one in particular because it's lactose free, zero sugar, zero lactose, and then pretty low fat. I think just a gram or two per serving. And normally with my meals, I'll get in more protein than just that. But this is really, if I count this as a meal, it's already my third meal of the day, which normally at most, I'm eating two before I train, but I was working on the brand for a good bit today. That's why it's going to be about seven by the time I get to the gym. And uh, we've got a few sick things coming that we're working on. All I'm going to say is this for now. I'll start releasing more as it gets closer to you know the actual release date. But we're working with a builder. Uh, yeah, we're working with a builder. If I say anything, if I say anything else, it's going to kind of give it away. So I'm just going to leave it at that. For one of the things, there's a builder. For another thing. There's a designer. Can't wait to, to show you guys the designs once they're created. We'll get to all that a little later because first, I've got a chest workout to crush. It's the second one of the week, so a little bit more volume. Show you guys how I train my chest twice a week because for the most part, most chest workouts I'll show on this channel are the ones I'm doing at the beginning of the week. I can put a little more power into it, go a little heavier with the compound movement, etc. It's just a little more fun to film. It's a little more fun to train, but this one can be just as fun. It's just uh, a lot more time under tension. It's a lot more painful for myself, but that's what it's about, right? And that's all I got for you though. Let me eat this sweet potato and peanut butter, get some pre-workout down, and catch you at the gym. Again, I'm using my favorite pre-workout combo from Raw, the pre and the pump squared. Uh, it's a little bit later in this one, so it's great that the pre only has 50 milligrams of caffeine. Just hitting one scoop so I can get to sleep. If you wanna shop, the link is below, and you can use code Merck at the checkout to save a little bit. Chest earlier in the video, but it is a chest and back session, so 
I did a little warm up, about four sets, going back and forth with the push-ups and pull-ups, just to get some blood in my chest and back, connect with it a little bit. And the first movement, I'm starting with the incline Smith, really trying to keep my chest lifted. And as I'm as I'm driving up, right, the bar is a little bit higher because I want to target my upper chest, but I'm really focusing on beyond just keeping my chest lifted. Because as I'm driving, almost visualizing again, like squeezing my elbows together. Like I'm trying to I'm not just trying to push the weight up, but I'm trying to bring the inside of my elbows together. It helps me just squeeze my chest a little bit more. That tip uh, might have came up a few times now on the channel since training down in Florida, but I mean, it's a good one for all things chest, really squeezing your elbows together. I mean, I feel like on almost every movement, that's kind of helped maximize my squeeze. So you'll see me kind of leading each chest mo motion today with the same mentality. Even on a push up, man, it's not just up and down. It's okay, as I'm driving up, my hands aren't moving, but Mentally, I'm squeezing my elbows together, shortening that distance, and, and as a result, I'm getting a little better contraction. Getting the rhythm first, I'm contracting my back and then pulling down. So I'll go just a little bit heavier, knock out sets of 10. But it's been a good flow to this one. I haven't superset anything. The next, I'll superset the next exercise just to cut a little time and then put the, push the intensity up since I'm starting to get fatigued a little bit. But resting about a minute and a half to two minutes on these. And uh, I don't know what it is. I just f felt good. Maybe it's because I ate a few more meals today. But I pushed, I've been able to push a little bit more weight than I had anticipated. This is my second chest and back session of the week. I did chest and back separately Monday, Tuesday. So, shoot. I uh, got a little bit of strength in me, so might as well use it.
for today's session. Not too many exercises, but nonetheless, a solid pump. And honestly, a little less volume than I thought I was gonna do going into today. But I wrote it down, and like I said, once I started, I had some strength. And normally, I get to this point of the week, and I'm pretty sore, so. I mean, my sleep's been good, my nutrition's been really good. If anything, had a little bit extra carbs two days this week. So I think that plus training on a little more fuel than I normally have kind of gave me the extra boost this session. But if I am sore, I'll drop, drop the weight a little bit, bump the reps up. So instead of doing eight to 10 on some of these exercises, it'll be up 12, sometimes 15. And then I'll even, if I'm really sore, I'll start supersetting more. So for example, that lat pull down, you know, if I wanted to superset something with it, I might superset like an upper chest movement, like possibly a kneeling landmine, chest pressed, uh, something of the sort. Maybe even this plate loaded incline press right there. So the trick they say is to, if you're going to superset something like chest and back, try to superset things in the same plane. So if I'm doing, if I'm doing a straight press, right, I want to be doing basically the, the opposite. So for example, like a row. Honestly, I felt like that works pretty good. Sometimes I'll break it up so I can actually give the, the exercises a little bit more, a little bit more juice, a little bit more gas. So instead of doing back to back, I'll do exercise to exercise, which I kind of did more today. But got finished with some cardio. Got 30 minutes on the stairs because this morning's cardio session was only 20. So uh, wish me luck. I'll probably catch you guys in a couple days. Time to get on the move, get some more things done. Sure.